Let's go on our live. These are live pictures coming to you from Inchanga, where there's been uh, some fairly violent protests there happening in the early hours of this morning. Uh, ANN7 reporter Patisa Amfuyo uh, is coming to us live there. Patisa, just describe to us what's going on there. Uh, well, uh, Peter, the, the, the whole of Inchanga is on complete lockdown. Uh, streets are barricaded by the community here. As you can see, there is heavy police presence. Uh, there were stun grenades that uh, were fired earlier today to disperse the crowds that have gathered here uh, in, in Inchanga. What happened here, Peter, yesterday, Anonskele Loplosa, who is one of the SACP members, was shot and killed yesterday at about 6 p.m. Uh, but now, after, after, after that happened yesterday, today at about 6 a.m. today a mob gathered at Kolani Ngobo's house this morning where they gathered and started throwing stones at his house. After that uh, people came in into his house and shot a fight and he was killed instantly with his family when two children are uh, in the house. So it seems like uh, as, I was, as I was chatting to community members here they're saying it, it feels like it's a revenge killing because after Lanzigela Loplosa was killed yesterday uh, the killing of Kolani seems to be revenge uh, for her death. Uh, but there's heavy police presence uh, as we're here. Uh, the MEC for, for Community Safety and Liars in Policy Kawunda just arrived here in Ninjanga to assess the situation and also to restore calm as it, as it seems like uh, the situation here is really, is, is really tense. Uh, all the roads coming in, uh, uh, coming in and out of Ninjanga are barricaded. There are tires that are bent everywhere. There are glass bottles that are broken into, into the streets. The police are trying to open up the way uh, so that the cars can drive past, but it seems uh, as soon as the police leave, uh, the community gather again to, to block the roads again, but it seems like things say in Ninjanga, as I was chatting to the people here, they're saying this is their daily life say in Ninjanga, because they're actually saying that uh, should the police have come when they were attacked yesterday, maybe Kolani Ngobo wouldn't have been killed, so it seems like they, there is a lot of infighting uh, here in Ninjaga, you must remember where we are now, we're in Ward 4, where, where it was won by an independent candidate, Malombo Ngumalo, who is the brother of uh, outgoing mayor for a municipality, James Ngumalo. And uh, he was voted in by the community here to, to lead Ward 4 after they had issues with the ANC candidate that was elected uh, by the ANC. So it seems like the community rejected uh, the ANC candidate and wanted Mulombo. So it seems like uh, these are some of the issues that the community have been fighting against and hence uh, you see, remember the SACP here, uh, they have been supporting the independent candidate who is who's, who's Malombo Ngumalo. So it seems like there is a SACP versus ANC which is happening here in, 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 in Janga. Hence, uh, we are where we are today. Uh, back to you. Uh, now, Patisa, just to, in terms of uh, where things go from here, the police, are they on the ground uh, in terms of uh, what kind of uh, attendance has there been? Are, are things peaceful as we speak now? Is this... Uh, politically based, uh, in your opinion? Uh, well, the police are, are here. Uh, what they've been doing, uh, as you can see, they're busy working. I'm not sure if you can see the activity behind me. Uh, but what the police are doing now is, is actually remove the barricades on the road to restore peace. Uh, what they are trying to do also is to ensure there are crowds that have been gathering and also sort of toy-toying. So they're trying to disperse those crowds uh, to restore calm. So uh, if this is successful or not, we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Because uh, as soon as the police move, uh, the crowds gather again to to block the roads again. So it seems like it's going to be a never-ending uh, thing. Uh, we're going to be here the whole day today. I know ANC leadership, they called a press briefing uh, here today. They were supposed to, 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 to have a press briefing at 10, but they've cancelled that briefing. They are all are coming here in Njanga to address this issue and also to find out exactly what the issues are with the, with the community. So uh, at, the, at the moment, we still don't know. We're gonna, I think the MEC is visiting the family of Nunsukele Loplosa who was shot and killed yesterday today uh, just now so we will find out from him as he as community and, and lies and what he will come from his department to ensure that there is peace here in Injanga. Mm. Now, uh, Patisa, just uh, reading some of the reports that are coming in uh, with regards to these killings. KwaZulu Natal Police spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Tulani Zwani confirmed uh, these two incidents. Uh, describe the, the two people who died uh, uh, that are heavily involved uh, in the political setup uh, in Nchanga in KwaZulu Natal. 
Uh, well, if I can tell you, Anantikele Loplose is SACP, and Kolani Ngobo, who was killed this morning, is, is from the ANC Youth League. Uh, so, Anantikele Loplose is one of the people that were pushing for the independent candidate. Uh, so, hence, uh, she, was, she was killed yesterday. So, it seems like the ANC Youth League person that was killed today, which is Kolani Ngobo, it was to avenge Anantikele Loplose's death. So, it seems like here in Injara, there's a division between the ANC and, and the SACP. Hence, we find this infight, this, this political infightings are uh, in this area. So uh, basically the issues is between the ANC Youth League and the ANC rather and the SACP here. Remember the SACP broke away from the mother body here in Injaga and supported the independent candidate which was Malambo Malambo Ngomalo. So uh, it, it seems like uh, the issues are the, of, 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 of intolerance here in Injanga are uh, revolving around, around that. But it seems like uh, as I was chatting to some people Earlier, they were saying that as SACP, they feel like they're, 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 they're being targeted, they're being chased around by people. So they, they're also not feeling safe as the community. They say the only time police come out when they call is when uh, there is domestic violence, but when there is political violence, our police are nowhere to be found. Mm. Patisa, there seems to be some movement uh, behind you in terms of uh, opening of the roads. Are those roads open now? And in terms of the investigations, have the police said? Uh, where they're investigating or how far they are with these investigations. Uh, well, uh, the, the roads have just been opened now uh, by the police. Uh, but in terms of uh, investigation, uh, what they are saying, uh, when I got at uh, Kolani Ngobo's house, his body was still there. His family was still inside. Uh, forensic was still there. They were still to trying to gather evidence and also speaking to eyewitnesses to find out what exactly has happened. So uh, as far as that, we still don't know exactly uh, how far is the investigation or what the police, if police have arrested any, 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 witness, any, any people are uh, regarding those two murders but so far uh, no we haven't had any any anyone that has been arrested so it seems like it seems uh, so far we that uh, we'll have to wait and see from the police but they were still gathering evidence the body was still there it still needed to be moved and his family was still inside uh, his fiance and two children so one last question in terms of in Changa, describe the area to us uh, uh, what are the issues in terms uh, of uh, its political landscape uh, that uh, uh, these people are so uh, up in arms about. I mean, it clearly is a rural area. What are the issues there? Uh, well, uh, as I was chatting uh, to, to the ladies uh, that were here, they're saying that uh, normally in Injanga, they don't vote uh, for the, for, for the councillors. They only vote for national. Because they're saying that they feel that uh, the candidates or the people that have been elected, they're not doing anything to ensure that uh, they, they, they safety, uh, they, they, there's movement in the community or even upliftment here in the community. Uh, this area is, it's a mix of, of rural and, 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 and sort of township and township like. So they were saying that the hands, that's why they were not voting for any of the, of the candidates that they've had before. But Malombo, they're saying, is one of them and is one of the people that have been fighting to ensure that uh, their needs are looked after here uh, in Unjanga. Hence, they voted for him. They say for the first time, the people of Unjanga voted for, for the candidate. Hence, uh, in Ward 4, uh, that, uh, hence in Ward 4, that Malombo Ngomalo uh, won uh, the, the, the local government elections. Mm. Okay, Patisa, we'll leave it there. We'll check in with you shortly if there's uh, any further developments